Hello everyone, this is Masam Raza again, aka Mr. Dua. Today I got something super special that I've really been wanting to talk about. I've talked about it very briefly on a few Facebook groups when I was really heavy on Facebook a few months ago. Um, but it doesn't express what I feel about this fragrance as it would through a video. So it's actually not a Dua. I don't know if we'll even be able to do a Dua of this, but we will give it a try that's for sure but the fragrance i'm talking about is called kiara by Deser. um if you don't know Deser is a japanese indie house uh they make some really 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 crazy things um, i have a few more Deser bottles up there one's a yuzu based scent the other one i believe is a lemon one um, they can be an acquired taste because they use a lot of natural, it's natural perfumes. Um, the only syntheticness in here would probably be the perfumer's alcohol, right? Um, but other than that, all the material is pure natural. And the one here by Deser from Japan is Kiara. Um, Lucky Scent sells the bottle for, I believe, $1,150 plus tax. So this one ran me around $1,225 bucks for like 30 ml. What is Kiara? Kiara is basically the highest quality of agarwood chips that grow out of Vietnam. Um, it can only grow in certain seasons. Um, they're extinct. Kiara agarwood trees are mainly extinct at this point. It's different than Kinam, what also comes out of uh, Vietnam. However, the Kiara processing is basically the Japanese version of extracting the oil out of agarwood chips. Um, so these there apparently had uh, their own collection of Kiara Agarwood, which they decided to distill themselves. Uh, congratulations to them because this fragrance is absolutely amazing. What Kiara Agarwood is really, really, really Kiara great. Agarwood is really, really, really hard to get. I was able to get a little bit. Uh, it's uh, three grams each. One is 50 years aged. Um, a Kiara Agarwood oil and one is 70 years aged. Um, I'll tell you the differences between these two as well, but let's sniff the fragrance, right? So what's so special is Kiara is just really, really hard to distill, number one. And even when you do distill it, the yield from a... Oh my God. Well, forget about the yield and how much from kgs to grams. Forget about all that. You, don't, you guys don't need to know the fragrance holy shit oh it's i'm sniffing it after maybe a month month and a half um absolutely gorgeous i mean this is what agarwood dreams are made of guys like literally it's camphorous it's minty it's herbaceous it's green it's foresty it's damp the kiara agarwood is just so calming like literally I can feel a sense of calmness coming over me right now as I smell this. Um, this. This stuff is phenomenal. It's like being in a forest, in a monastery, there's like smoke and incense coming from those monasteries where all those monks are, you know, practicing meditation. You're in the forest nearby, it's green, it's smoky with that incense and you know they're burning other incense and it's just it's absolutely 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 amazing 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 I'm at, I'm at loss for words right now but the question is what kind of Kiara Agarwood is in here 50 years or 70 years these are the only two I was able to get oh, do a little dab here rub that in nicely This is the 50 years aged on my left arm and then the 70 years aged on my right arm. Yeah, it's a little bit darker. The 70 years aged is a little bit darker as well than the 50 years aged color wise. And it's more potent and it's definitely more potent. The 70 years aged and it's definitely more expensive as well. So the 50 years aged I picked up three grams for around $1,100. The seven years aged, I picked up three grams for around $1,600. Um, 
So the 50 years age smells more like your oud that you would get, however, with like a damp nature to it a little bit, more resinous. Um, it's not spicy, it's not barnyardy. It is like sweet smoky, the 50 years age, which is not in the Kiara perfume. It's not 50 years age, I can assure you that much. It's much more aged. How much more aged? We'll find out when we test it, but the seven year old age, which is on this one right here, I don't know if you can see the sticky blobs of oud, but regardless, the seven years age, now this one's more deeper, it's more foresty while still having that camphorous nature, but at the same time, it also has the sweet chocolatey ish vibe from the 50 years age but the 50 years has some more green qualities where this one doesn't have as much as the green qualities of the 50 years age it's definitely changing and it's much more deeper and denser which it's what's closer to in desert the desert so safe to assume it's definitely more than 50 years definitely under 100 years so 70 is the sweet spot you know usually these are graded by years of tens mainly kiara oud especially um so it's more than 50 it's not past 70. we're gonna go after the entire formulation first hopefully this winter and then i'll place the order for the oud and because the oud is so expensive so let's say in a 30 ml bottle even if we're using like 5 ml of actual oud so that would be 250 dollars worth of just that one material being used so the dual version will probably be around the 300 mark for a 30 ml 3 350 400 it'll still be one third of this obviously but uh definitely gonna go after that one to one ingredient match for sure and uh i do have access to the oud i know that so yeah we'll give it a try um hoping we can come even 80 percent with this one scent wise that would be oh my god that would be freaking amazing if we can do that but we'll find out so first video that is not a do up but just really wanted to talk about this fragrance so i will be talking a lot more about fragrances that aren't dua that i would love to bring under dua one day if we can obviously and then obviously we will cover designers and other niche fragrances as well along with uh, a lot of people have been asking me to do my most complimented fragrances of all time so i'll probably do a top 10 obviously there won't be any artisanal stuff in there there will probably be a few duas but more designers and a few niche kicked in there but uh i'll do that video as well but uh for now um if you sniff this fragrance kiara by desire please do leave a comment below and let us know what you think or if you've ever experienced kiara oud by itself please do leave a comment below and let me know what you think but uh and also please let me know if this is a fragrance you would like dua to try and recreate because it will probably be around 3 350 retail for a 30 ml it's the oud is really expensive it is what it is um probably do a pre-order kind of thing for that one obviously we don't want to invest into getting the oud and recreating it and then you know it doesn't sell so let me know if this is even something you guys would like to see under dua and uh we will try to make it happen as always but uh thank you for watching and i really appreciate your time and uh with that stay fragrant love you guys from the heart and uh food that's where it's at <laughs>